Mike Milk joining us. Do you want to rattle through the Oilers signings here quickly before we get into anything else? They just did uh, reportedly Joel Person. Who? Person? Person? I don't know. He's a he's a Swedish kid. Okay. Out of the Swedish league. I like the Swedes. So he's an offensive guy. <laughs> Uh, don't really know a whole lot about him. Uh, apparently, he's not the greatest in his own zone, but he's a wizard on the power play. So That's what we need. The Oilers desperately need power play help, so who knows? We'll see how it goes. And then that goalie. Didn't, we get, Swift didn't Broncos, we get a kid right? to an entry-level deal or something? Yeah, Stuart Skinner had a great year, won the dub uh, with his team. Does he look small to me? Is that a thing now? Because some of the goalies that are doing okay aren't, aren't, aren't like behemoths, right? It's funny because... Like, now goalies he's are six, trending to be six, gigantic. Four. So he's not small. He's so not small? He's 6'4". Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> so like 6'4", almost is like an average size for a goalie, yeah. now, which is weird. Like a guy like Darren Pang, there's no way he makes the NHL anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. They're all yeah, yeah. giants. Miko Koskinen, the Oilers signed him like, what, a few weeks ago? He's gigantic as well. He's like 6'7 or something. So they're <laughs> really? just looking for monsters Fill the net. in the net. thing about these guys, though, when they're that tall, they're usually about 172 pounds, though, right? So they're just string beans. <laughs> they are Because they got to be flexible. You can't yeah. be big and like you know as a goalie. You got to be able to move around. Yeah, right? a little, be- little bit, a uh, little bit beefy. I think the Swede was, but yeah. Um, for Stuart Skinner, he had a great year in junior, so he's going to probably be turning pro next year. So we'll see how it goes. So we talked about the um, worst movie you've ever paid for earlier in the show. And have you got anything to add to that? I can think of two. Okay. First one, the only movie I've ever walked out of in my life was Pitch Black with Vin Diesel. I think mm. it's it was horrible. I don't pay for Vin Diesel movies. So. Nobody, nobody ever should. <laughs> nobody ever should pay to go see a Vin Diesel movie. What he's about like, Fast and Furious? Come on. He uh. needs a surrounding cast. He's bloated Jason Statham. He's got one <laughs> thing going on, and he doesn't do it very well. Okay. So he's like the American Jason Statham, just slightly swollen. I am always amazed by those Fast and Furious movies and how well they, they just do. continue to pump like, like hundreds of millions of dollars every amazing. time they release one. Yeah. yeah. And I've never really sat through one thinking, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. It, even with the rock involved. Like the first one, I was like, eh, pretty cool. That was a fun movie. Yeah, the first one, two, and now there's... six. Then you're like, okay. The second movie I can People think of love is. Those movies. I was about nine years old. My brother took me to see Weekend at Bernie's Two. Okay. The reason being that the concept is so ridiculous. First I don't of think all, I ever saw the second one. Well, don't don't waste your time. Weekend at Bernie's in itself was ridiculous. Well, the first one's awesome. Yeah, it, but... it's great. They're playing with a dead guy, and then they're like, you know what? We should do this again. And then they had the bright idea to do it again. So How do you make say, a sequel out of that? Yeah, and then he had like magic headphones, and he would dance around, oh, and he's dead no. in the water. It was weird. It was strange. You know what? I uh, I just had a thought. We should have had bag milk with us at the volleyball tournament yesterday because yeah. we almost died. Died and we didn't have, we had Jimmy and we had one <laughs> sub. Oh, I don't know how much good. help I would have been. Not no? a volleyball player? Well, I can play volleyball like I used to do in high school and stuff, but that was 15 years ago at this point. So We're playing a bunch of media losers. Yeah. So you don't need to have a lot of skills. In that case, I would have fit right in. <laughs> Blogging loser, beach against the media Should losers. Blogger team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dusty from uh, TSN was beaking us this morning about, well, beaking that he, because they won. Yeah. And we just about beat them. Like, we lost by one point to them in overtime. It yeah. was like a sudden death thing. I'm 48. <laughs> and Jimmy is, well. <laughs> We had Jimmy. He on gave our it team. a good effort. Yes, it was two and a half men. I kept trying to like we kept trying to get the ball to you, so because if you would have made some sort of a move or a play or and it would have been successful, I think the whole place would have just went up and. Ah! <laughs> yeah, and looking at the other team, I mean, Dusty's a big guy. Strud's is a big guy. Yeah, you know, Gregor is shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Gregor was actually mad when we were tied with them too. He I bet was, he gets he super was the one that demanded. We're like, we're like, we'll take the tie. He's like, no, overtime. Let's not, go. Actually, not as annoyed as Ryder. Oh, Ryder from Hot 107 from the V neck station. We beat he Hot 107 pissed. in the first game. Is Ryder getting fired up? No, oh, he oh. is the most competitive person I know. I love yeah. that. Yeah, and he, yeah, we were actually getting people to text the show, to text, <laughs> text them, and 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 sort of rub it in a little bit. If you do meet up with them afterwards, you'll have to give them a little bit of. Uh, Rub it in a bit that he hey, lost man. to the cruise team. <laughs> Heard you're not that good at volleyball anymore. Like, what happened? Uh, hockey championships. 
Okay. Just touch on that. McDavid, can he play goal for the team as well? <laughs> he's going to have to play <laughs> all 60 minutes and maybe a net. <laughs> because yeah, how about, wait, like he's got, what, 11 points or something like that? Yeah. In his OT goal the other day against Sick. Latvia. That goal Ridiculous. was unbelievable. Okay, let's just say that out loud again. The OT winner to Latvia? Like, Which what in the itself hell's is going? Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're sitting there, we're kind of like looking through things at the office, we're like, OT against Latvia. But then they, What's going on? Latvia took the U.S. to OT as well. They're sneaky, man. They're, uh, they're coming up and coming nation. They play Russia on Thursday, so w- hopefully they have a better. But I have a feeling Russia's going to walk all over them, and then it's going to be do- like they're going to be one and done in the playoffs. Anyway, talking about Vin Diesel, was he in Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes, he was Groot. Yeah, he He's was Groot. Groot. He's the okay, voice, but that was just a voice. Yeah, like I, I don't want to look at him. I was in a I'll costume. Listen to him. Yeah, okay. Somebody I, we got a text. I am gay. Great That's what it just says yeah. that. I am gay. Bloated Statham. <laughs> I think it's I am Groot. Thanks for the visit, Bagmo. <laughs>